During our research into the popular history of Fairmont, among our interviews with the old-time Fairmonters, we noticed a certain theme emerging. The females we talked to, almost all of them, happened to mention going to Hagen's ice cream when they were young. And they also happened to mention, almost all of them, a certain ice cream man who worked there. Sixty years later, we talked to these women about this mystery man. Who was he? Was he really that good looking? And try to solve the riddle of that good looking ice cream man. We contacted the local paper, the Times West Virginian, to enlist their help in finding our elusive ice cream man. So I just did a little piece. Does anybody remember the ice cream man who worked at, uh, at Hagen's ice cream shop back in the late 40s or early 50s? And the next day, I got about 25 phone calls. People remembered him. And this VC that's in our paper, he's been writing because people had wrote in and told him that who was this handsome man that worked in there? One woman wrote John Vesey and said, who was that man I fell in love with in Hagen's? And then just about every other call that came in was about the ice cream man. But they all remembered this gentleman very well. Well, I always get up and read my paper and I look, I always look at the desk to see if I'm in there. <laughs> and then I look at John Vesey's call. <laughs> I always read it, and uh, when I saw that they were looking for the ice cream man, I knew it had to be Jack Smith. And it turns out the name of this ice cream man was Jack Smith. Very simple name. <laughs> Actually, how I found out about it was my son read the article, and he came he, up to me, he says, Mom, you're not gonna believe what's in this paper. He said, you're going to be really happy to see this. And then he brought me the article, and I was just, I was shocked. I just couldn't believe to see my dad's name right there, Jack Smith. It was just so exciting. I imagine Kate was really surprised to pick up the paper and see that I was writing about her father, and I never called her. Everyone knew how good looking he was. Well, I think everyone talked about how handsome he was <laughs> that went in Hagen's ice cream store. He was a young, clean cut gentleman and very polite and very good looking. <laughs> he was good looking. <laughs> At least for women, I don't know, not for men. Oh yeah, yeah, I didn't believe, you know, but that was immaterial to me. I never looked at him at being good looking. Well, I guess about my dad being so handsome and muscles and all that, I'm thinking, that's my dad, you know, it was kind of, kind of interesting. He was handsome. He looked like a movie star, um, almost like Jack Armstrong, almost, you know, he was just stunning. I remember when um, The Ten Commandments came out, the movie The Ten Commandments, and Charlton Heston played in it and how many people would say that dad looked like Charlton Heston. Hagen's ice cream store was wonderful. They had a counter, but no chairs and tables. And we'd go in and get ice cream, go out and sit in our car and eat the ice cream. And I remember that it was a long and narrow and row, a big long row of ice cream, every kind you could think of. They used to have like what they call like I think a triple decker and they would just keep scooping more scoops of ice cream on top. They had ice cream cones that went way up like this. <laughs> and it was different the way they uh, dipped out the ice cream. And he'd go down in there man and you'd get a chunk of ice cream about like that. They had a long dipper. It was not a round dipper, it was a long dipper with a point on the end and you, they would go down in, twist it, and put it into the cone like that so that it was a cone on the bottom and a cone on top. I'm sure there could have been many ice cream people in there that sells them an ice cream cone and they would never remember him, but this man must have been very nice and he must have been very polite and they must have gone in there not only for the ice cream, but also to see him. You know, he wouldn't, he was never one to, 
to flaunt what he he did if he did something nice for anyone. I don't think he would. I think he'd be embarrassed. Mm -hmm. So he was a good father, a very good father. You know, I just felt like it was a good experience to go back and think of all the things that that he gave us during our lifetime and our family did because we lost them very early in our lives. But it's, you know, their memory it has been a lasting memory and a good one. <laughs> well, I think Fairmont's a very close-knit community and that kind of shows that old timers remember people that, that uh, stay in their mind and these, this gentleman must have. It was so emotional. Those few days after all this happened, it was just really emotional to go back and think about all the different memories that we have of Fairmont, of our family. I just, you know, I just about lost it. It just, you know, it was, you know, it was almost like he was right there, right then at that moment.